a statement, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm proud of these seniors, 24 seniors. It's a lot of these guys' last time to ever uh, put on a pass. And whether it's college or professional, I personally know how tough that could be. It's going to be tough for them. Um, proud of our players, the staff, support staff. So humble and honored the way that they responded through all this. I mean, through this process, That made me a better person, better husband, father, friend. It, it's, it's just powerful what you can do whenever you get people believing, serving, not making it about each other. It's powerful. So that's the most thing that I'm, I am happy for uh, when, I t when I had this opportunity. That is what I told player staff was, I don't know how many games we were going to win, and honestly, quite frankly, uh, you know, it's harsh to say I, I, it didn't really matter, but it did I seen kids that was broken. I seen kids that needed help. An opportunity to get to serve them and see how, wow, they have opened their heart. How they done did it 360. How they back believing. A lot of cool things in this four weeks done happened. I mean, 12 guys gave life to Christ. Seven guys get baptized. <laughs> um, so um, to get today's game, we didn't get it done. Um, I mean, whenever you look at it, first half, two turnovers, five false starts. Uh, five, <coughs> excuse me, big play, 25-plus run. I, I I did not, like I told them guys at halftime, I, I ain't doing a good enough job to get them guys prepared. And I honestly feel that way, not just coach out. End of the day, I had a I had a group of men and them kids and this staff. We did not do a good enough job of getting these guys prepared, locked in. I mean, we have five false starts and allow some of the mental breakdown that you have. Time you got to look at yourself in the mirror. Been stressing all week. I, I, I know they're gonna fight. Feel they're gonna give us everything they got. That that's just the. It's just how these kids are. They believe. They know that these coaches, myself, care for them. It's a process. We gotta be better mentally, preparing more. A lot of times, we're not as focused, as sharp as we out to be. Played this game. I'm a rep guy. 
know how hard it is, man, to not be locked in or your mind somewhere else and then try to go in that environment and compete. Your anxiety is going to be crazy. So if they can take anything from this, not point fingers at them, just with their life, their next job, whatever they do, got to be intentional with everything that they do. Um, so with that, I open it up for questions. It means everything. I mean, uh, Arbor <laughs> County, you know, they, God, I was kind of already forever indebted to it because it, it gave me an opportunity to uh, accomplish my dreams in life, to take care of my mom, you know, met my wife here. Um, brought up two boys. Um, so to think that <laughs> Arby can do more, you like, I can't do more. But these last couple weeks, oh my. I mean, from the, the Arby family, it's the people, it, it's. It's a reason um, two decades ago that I, I chose Arbor. And one of the best decisions I've ever made in these past four weeks have, have been uh, special. I'm talking about absolutely special, the way that they done poured into my life, the support, the way they done got behind this team. Arbor is in a better place because of these seniors in the Arbor family. Future is bright, very bright. NFL, you, you can't get fired, can you? you know, right? <laughs> oh, well, I I had I had a a front front row seat there, and um, you know it, it, it's tough. Those, those refs, man, they have a tough job. You know they um. They got to see things in real life and they make decisions, but let's just say I had a front row seat there. Uh, to greet each player, they, again, they done changed my life for the good. Uh, they have, uh, wow, made me come out of my comfort zone. I uh, have shown some things, have revealed some things about myself that I ain't know was there. So, uh, you know, a lot of these success things, you know, whatever, be going on. It's a direct reflection of the way they have responded and how they have let myself and these coaches pour into their lives. And man, it just means a lot uh, to me. Um, them guys. guy's a fighter. He, he, he's going to compete. He's going to give you everything.
separate things. P.L. I mean, you know, guy's incredible. One of the better athletes I have ever been around. Ever. And man, he was trying to will us to that win. Uh, but, you know, um, Robin, though, I, I, done, I done talked with Robin m m multiple times and shared with him that not only him, myself, this team, got to prepare better. We uh, are mean, me mentally tough. Um, not just show up on Saturday, and not saying that this kid just show up on Saturday. But being a former player, a guy who has uh, not been in, uh, kind of been in their shoe, been down that path. Got to be intentional. <laughs> Saturday is the moments would get too big for you if you don't take every rep with the mindset of like a game like mentality. There's a lot of guys they were talented than me. <laughs> but like I tell them guys, man, I want a good enough player to just go through the motion and practice. So um we just gotta continue to build on guys' habits. Life just by patterns, man. You know, uh once they can get that down the mental part of it. That, that kid, along with a lot of those kids, going to be A-OK. -okay. Just the running back here, too. Talk about Jarquez and Payne. Three games of run now. Excuse me. Oh, uh, well, like I told them guys, man, they, they are going to have to be special. I remember taking this, uh, well, not – been named the interim coach, uh, set him down. Kind of just share with him where, look, y'all going to have to be that spark. To whom much is given, much is required. The good Lord have blessed them tremendously. And besides the quarterback, the running back, it's the guy who touching the ball most of the time. So those guys could be that light, that spark plug. They could be that positive energy that we needed, not just on game day, but on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Just told them guys the team going to go as you guys go. Both of them guys, man, very selfless guys, man. They work good together. It, it's amazing to, to watch both of them and, Kind of, it's pretty cool to know, uh, kind of how they feed off each other because I, uh, many many moons ago, once experienced it, so you know that's that's pretty good. So happy for uh, both of those guys, man. Tell you so. I I I pray to God that you know Cole and Quinn, my two boys, <laughs> uh, got his type of attitude, his work ethic. Uh, that young man is special. I'm not just talking about on the field. I'm talking about the way he treat people, the way he go about his business kind he is to people, the great teammate he is. I mean, a lot of times with NIL, with everything going on, those things get lost. Those things are uh, not value anymore. Uh, man, he, 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 he definitely uh, is it by uh, what an Auburn, Auburn man should be like, to be honest with you.
made it alive. Um, grew up, always wanted to um, play in this game, train about it, visualize, spoken into existence. doing some research and uh, this is Google now so if Google wrong you talk to Google uh, <laughs> our Alabama plan since 1893 uh, that, that's Google so don't, don't fat you know, I'm just telling and uh, I shared that with my players last night to be the first African American to coach in this game to be like the head coach. It almost broke me down last night. And it honestly I'm not, I didn't really think much about it, to be honest with you, but it all uh, definitely was special. Special because uh, I mean, we, I'm saying we, I remember, we, we don't, you don't dream about been a head coach, to be honest with you. And, um, you know, for uh, people after me, before me, describing to do these things, a lot of things in life, if, if you can see it, then you can strive for it, and you can start believing it. So, um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I'm very thankful and honored for that. Um, can't nobody take that away from me, no matter what goes on. Nobody. Honestly, I think like the, 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 the kids, how they have responded. I mean, You all only knew who a lot of the you know stuff that been going on and looking not blaming nobody. I'm I'm I'm, I'm part of this staff. And I'm talking about with classes, not going to class and God just missing and And I, I I know that ain't sad, but it don't. But but to see over the four weeks how you guys have turned that around, I'm talking about guys are in class, treating people with respect, showing up for their strategies, their tutors. Like to hear the academic people come and say, man, like, yeah, like they're, they're like different kids. That has been the best part of all of this, to be honest with you. 
to be able to walk in front of those kids and be able to tell them kids like how proud I am of you. That's been uh, that's been very uh, deep for me. And second thing, it's just that one thing that I, I I took away from this this whole ordeal is. You can be different and do this and be successful. You can serve. You know. Can go about it where you make it about the kids. Make about truly changing lives. Because I I wouldn't be, be at this on this platform if I didn't have opportunity of guys like uh, Steve McConnell, who was my Pee Wee coach, eleven years old. Rye Gray, who was my middle school coach. Coach Raymond Former, who was my high school coach. Wow. Like real men pouring into my life that gave me an opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, so I think it's pretty cool that I get I get opportunity to share uh share this with them. We still text talk. Like I think that's the coolest thing too. Uh have them many, many years ago. I mean, just be genuine, just be nice to me, plant that seed that I can do something cool in life. And to see it two decades later and to see me on this stage, <laughs> man, we can't stop texting and talking about it. So uh, regardless of uh, what, what goes on, I have been blessed. I've been blessed by Arm. I've been blessed by the Army family, the players, the staff. So, future is bright, regardless of uh, what go on, and that's all because of not me. Honestly, because of these twenty-four seniors. Promise you, they have left Army better than they found it. So now those young guys. Got something to look at, something to strive for, how it's supposed to look. I know that was a long answer, but sorry. <laughs>